Hello and welcome to Crowdin. Crowdin is one such tool that can help businesses easily translate and localize their content, allowing them to reach a wider audience and expand their customer base. With the integration of Crowdin and Google Ads, businesses can streamline their localization and translation workflows, making it easier to create and launch localized campaigns. This integration is implemented as a file format. This means that you would first export your ads to CSV, then translate them with Crowdin, and create translated campaigns by uploading the file back to Google. Let me show you how the integration works. To start benefiting from this integration, you need to have a Crowdin Enterprise or Crowdin.com account and a project in place. I already have an account with a project, so let's start by finding the app in the Crowdin store and installing it. After installation, you can find the application settings in the Tools section of your project. Here you will find everything you need to configure the application for use including options for fine-tuning the import of Google Ads CSV files and configuring translatable columns. One of the most useful features in this section is the ability to add a character limit to all of your translatable columns. This is a great time saver that makes the translator's job much easier. Please note that Google can export ads in a variety of formats. Files may have extra lines at the beginning or end of the file. Inspect your ad file and configure it properly in this window before proceeding. Even if the application defaults work for you, you must click Submit to confirm that the defaults are good for you. So the first step you need to take is to switch to Google Ad Manager, open your campaign, and export the needed ad as a CSV file. After doing so, go to the Files section of your Crowdin project and import your file. Great! Now let's check how it looks in the editor. As you can see, all constraints have been applied. As I have machine translation integrated into my project workflow, so it translated successfully most of the text. But the part of the text that was longer than the allowed limit was not saved, so translators should change it to meet the limit. Crowdon tries to mimic the appearance of the ad so that translators have more context about how text will be rendered when they are published. This could help translators produce better quality translations. And now I'm ready to export my translations. I go to Dashboard, select the language I need, and click Download. The final step would be to upload the translated ad to your Ads Manager. But before doing that, you should create and configure a new campaign where you would like to store the translated ad. It is an important step as without doing that, you won't be able to upload translations. Great, our translated ad has successfully been uploaded. And that's it, as simple as that. Remember, if you have any questions or need some help, please don't hesitate to reach out to our 24-7 technical support team. Thank you for watching.